Hi my dear YouTube viewers, myself Manjanath Advocate here. For the past two, three years I have been doing uh, legal videos to create a legal awareness in the interest of uh, public and also other, sub other subjects, issues also when the public is required. So if anyone watching first time my channel can uh, subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to get the notification and also if you have any legal conflicts or any legal advice if you required in the description box i have mentioned my contact number by paying the consultation fee you can contact me or else uh, or the phone also you can get a phone consultation and also you can reach me out uh, by asking the office location through whatsapp i'm in the same number and also uh, you know you can uh, assign your if you have any litigations or cases if you have not only in Bangalore across to Karnataka have tied up with the other uh, advocates also who are localites over there and also uh, I am hiring a lot of uh, advocates in my office and uh, can run your case effectively within the law frame to fetch the legal remedy so hope I am cleared in this point so now so today I have picked one very very important topic where I'm getting you know uh, always a calls in respect to this so to get an injunction order so what is add interim injunction order so can I get the injunction order immediately immediate uh, remedy they want because sometimes most of the times you know the absolute owners they have all the records uh, in their name but uh, no strangers or some you know forceful people they are trying to they are trying to interfere their peaceful position and also disturbing their peaceful position so at that time you know people are asking me so can we get the in interim injunction order immediately so in respect to this i wanted to tell you how to get the add interim injunction order immediately and what are all the procedures and what are all the documents is required in the eye of law so now so to get the injunction order what is that injunction means you have to stop someone not to interfere or not to do any illegal act against your against yours and your absolute rights so that is injunction order so in temporary injunction order uh, will be given uh, if the prime office is there to get that injunction order so you need to prove three things so one is uh, you know if the suit when you have filed when you when you have filed you have to prove prima facie prima facie you have to prove means suppose if you are a you're claiming that i am the owner of this property and stranger is interfering my peaceful so to prove your to prove that your ownership so you have to mention whether rtz is a ec is it in your name or if you have any sale deed or kata certificate kata extract something like that to prove your ownership if you have any documentary evidence you can submit to the court the certified copies you have to submit the document itself will speaks about your ownership so the prime office is proved and then the balance of conveniency and if you get that injunction order it will not harm in any manner to to the opponent party so you are a owner you so to get the if you get the injunction order it will not affect to that person so balance of conveniency so both the parties are not in the harm so but if you don't uh, order injunction then the party will suffer so that you need to prove in what manner uh, you are getting problems so then hardship hardship in the sense suppose you are a owner of the property someone by using the force they interfered your position so it becomes very hardship to the person and absolute owner might be they are having an antisocial element you know they cannot uh, take them out immediately so uh, that time suppose sometimes you know the absolute owner uh, he want to construct the building so he has uh, already ordered a lot of uh, building constructed materials and dumping to the site area and that time if simply they are disturbing definitely it will harm to the petitioner so uh, suppose uh, if the order is not passed definitely uh, the pra pra the petitioner he will be in loss so that hardship has to explain to the court these three things has to be 
explained properly and assisted to the court so then court will look into the facts and definitely they will pass a uh, pass in uh, a add into injunction order so this to get in, in injunction order so these three parameters are very much very very important and an advocate has to prepare in such a way to convince the court and also that litigants also to support the advocate to bring the materials or facts to fetch the uh, order immediately so this is a very very important point which i told you so order order 39 rule 1 and 2 under this provision uh, injunction suit can be filed so add interim in the sense before reaching the notice to the opponent party so need not to reach the summons or notice before hearing the other uh, opponent party if you are having a all these three points to prove to convince the court add into more injunction order can be passed that uh, i know power the court has after uh, if there is no prima facie or balance of convenience and the hardship is not proved by your end then court by using a discretionary power they may they may say that let the emergent notice will be issued and let them come and uh, by hearing the both the parties then only i will uh, pass the order so like that even court uh, can say but court cannot refuse when there is uh, you know prima facie balance of convenience and hardship is proved before the court effectively so or uh, that cannot be refused by the court if they have refused then you have you can go for an appeal because you know the procedure is not followed though we have convinced to the court they are not taking our uh, you know uh, argument properly so you can go for appeal obviously so then order 39 rule 1 and 2 by using this prov uh, you know, provision you can get the order so then after that what you have to do which is very very important uh, order 39 rule 3 you have to comply that order and immediately that uh, you know order copy the immediately that order copy all those things you have to uh, post like petition copy IA copy and uh, order copy all these things you have to uh, send through courier through courier or through post you have to send to the defendants and once you have sent that that postal receipt you have to attach it to the court and you have to say to the court yes order is complied and we have all informed them and you know we have sent to their knowledge like that you have to inform the court if the uh, if this procedure is not done then opponent party will take this defense strong defense that non compliance of uh, order 39 rule number 3 then your order will be cancelled so uh, judge can cancel immediately for non compliance basis so so these are all the things important things then next what is the next step is suppose you got the order but after hearing that order after brought the no after brought the notice to the defendants though they know that you know you are you have got the you know add interim injunction order still they are violating the court order they are continuing with the illegal act they are not uh, legally uh, bound and uh, when they are not legally binding and uh, or they are not act according to the court order if they are violating then order 39 uh 2a under 2a you can you know uh, again request the court by saying that you know order is not followed by the defendants they are contempting the court order they are not following they are continuing the illegal act they have not stopped they have not respected the court order so by saying that with proof like you know if they have interfered forcefully then record everything video record or audio record anything if you have proofs you can you know uh, brought to the notice of the court so by hearing all that you know court can give a direction and also you can request to get the police protection also and you know um, you know to comply that so then after this and one more uh, section is which is very very important uh, out of 39 uh, 4 out of 39 4 section yeah, under this actually suppose the defendant defendant can approach the court by filing a vocalet and you know objection then they can say that you know by suppressing the material of the fact uh, that uh, plaintiff has got this order so actual fact is so and so if the 
defendants succeeded to prove succeeded to prove uh, on their uh, you know contentions then the court may vacate the injunction order so they can under four they can ask the court uh, to vacate or modify or to alter or verify so under section four so uh, these are all the very very important aspects which i have expressed in the interest of the public if you have any problem and to seek any in the injunction orders or if there is any order against you definitely can contact me without file if you like the content without fail click the like button and also share to all in the interest of public take care thank you bye bye